it and run, and he'll be accurate off of those RPOs, those run pass options. The high scoring Houston offense averaging about 49 points per game, second in the nation only to Alabama, and keeping it on the first game, first play of the game is King. on offense for Houston. They'll run a play within 10, 12, 15 seconds of the prior play. King looking to throw plenty of time. Now rolling out, running out of time, and just going to throw it away. Gets it past the line. It doesn't deter them too much because they're going to keep their foot on the pedal and try to beat you down the field. They've converted 46% of their third downs on the season. And a third and ten right out of the shoot for the Cougars. Again, time for King, but giving it a look. Where's he going to go? Now being pursued, gets a block, and then throws it to the sideline and tiptoeing. Have to stay in coverage if you're the Bulls defensively. The Eric King will find the line of scrimmage. Got a quick look. It's now King running. Only gets about a yard. Good job by De'Ara King of keeping that play alive. Showing some pressure here. This is where the Bulls defensively like to pressure. They looked like they were going to fake a little zero coverage, man coverage pressure. King taking a shot, looking for Stevenson, who makes an adjustment at the 20. No flat. Pressure the line of scrimmage and play man coverage. Houston converted a third and 10 earlier on the drive. Now a third and eight. In motion, Jeremy Singleton. King dumps it off. This is the tight end, Brooker, and he battles his way for a first down across <laughs> mid. The football protecting it away from defenders. 14-yard gain, and for the second time on the drive, the Cougars convert on third and long. They fake the jet sweep, and there goes King! And then the athleticism to get in the end zone. King, it may have been a backwards pass nonetheless. Not going to go for anything. Bryson Smith, strong last night. He said they don't want... King to get to the edges, which may leave the middle open. We saw that on the first drive. Smith once again. For a couple of yards to about the 27. That's a really nice play by Mazzy Wilkins on the edge. He had a slant route. He got off of that and found a wide open receiver, tackled him in space. They converted a couple of third longs on their first drive. And do they do so again? Stevenson may at 5'11, he's not the tallest guy, and you have to have little. Little peek in windows around your offensive line to get that football completed. Well, they've converted a third and eight, a third and nine, and a third and ten. So hard loss. Wow, talk about getting penetration. That's how you shut down the run pass option in the backfield with that zone read. Brown out of Tampa now has five and a half tackles for loss this season. Movement by Josh Black on that right side. A free play for King, so he's going to take a deep shot for Stevenson and incomplete. It looked like Barber, didn't it, at the yeah. end of that play, coming in and getting the big hit. Well, I don't know. That was a, a now 100%. King, pump fix, throws, found the open lane, and that's Courtney Lark. Oh, the football for King. 20-yard gain, first down inside the 25. King fires again, and that's caught at the 15 by Lark. Mazzy Wilkins on King in this offense. Fake the jet sweep, King running right, he's got Carr as a blocker, but that one is blown up in the backfield by Greg Reed. No matter how it goes and who starts that game. Worst starting field position of the day from their 15, and a deep shot to midfield, and there is a flat. Tempo offense for the Cougars. King off the fingertips of Stevenson. It's in there. Stevenson has five plays of 50 plus yards this year, second most in the nation. Hit as he throws. He's about seven foot tall coming after King here. Watch him open his arms up and just engulf the 5'11 quarterback. Nowhere to go with the football. That's just great pressure. The Eric King's had a little time on the sideline. He comes out and that ball's picked. After that RPO fake, he holds on to this and kind of double pumps in it. Two punts in one interception. Here's King. He finds his tight end. Romello Brooker down the sideline. Nice conversion on third down. Coming back from that forced pass that turned into an interception and really turned into points for South Florida. King. Lark. 
First down at the third. A guy that's 6'2", 200 pounds, put some air under the football. Let him go get it. That's exactly what play. King wanting to go to the air again and taking a deep shot to the end zone. He's got his man. And the adjustment made. Touchdown. Might be a nice time for them to answer with a, a good drive of their own offensively. There he goes. King. Spun down at the... He runs the football. He's at top speed in two or three steps. 15-yard gain. King pumps, throws, dumps it down low right near the sideline. Man, high School, South Florida. In motion is Lark. On third down, King running. He's going to have the first down. Clock starts to run again under a minute and a half to play in the first half. They've got a great matchup at the bottom of the screen with Courtney Lark. It's man-to-man -man coverage, and there's only a single safety high. That's where I'd like to go with the football. King looking his way, going towards the end zone for Lark. What King saw after the play action, let me get it to an explosive wide receiver. If you win at the line of scrimmage, it's done. It's over. Just get it or, or throwing it on the outside. Well, Smith in motion. He looks in that direction. King does throw it to him. That, that was a lateral. lateral. Yeah. 16 seconds left in the half. What's King want to do? He wants to throw. And he leads his receiver, Jeremy Singleton. 25 to 30 yards. To get into some field goal range. Yes. A little bit of trouble on the snap. King. A lot of time being eaten up, and it is complete, so the clock's going to stop. In here, so you've got 6-2 and 6-3 trying to run down the field and get a jump ball. True freshman Vincent Davis. They're playing center field with Hoggins, and here goes the throw towards the end zone. Jump ball, and it's picked off to end the half. You don't want to have the field flipped on you and leave the South Florida Bulls in great position offensively. King could have locked it over the top. Nobody there. I think he thought Lark and short in cuts. King thought it, somebody was going deep right there and throws the football. No one's in the area. He's inside the top. That last snap didn't get away from De'Ara King. Good snap this time, and he wants to throw. There's a flag thrown in the secondary, and King coming near side, turns upfield, pushed out of bounds at about the third. King, draw, trying to weave his way through traffic and breaks a tackle, and he has the wow. first down, and he's going to the end zone. A game-changing play by De'Ara King. He should have been stopped. Better. This should have been a tackle for a loss. You're right where you need to be if you're the Bulls on defense, but a great individual effort, and then that pirouette around the 20-yard line just gets King. And he and his uh, quarterback, De'Ara King, developed a close relationship. Here's King going to decide to throw it. He used to help King strengthen his leadership role. It was really fun to chat with both those individuals yesterday. King has time, and he throws a strike. Jeremy Singh. Previous play, this throw by King. Good protection. King's going to slide and wait for one of his receivers to, to add lib for him to the wide side of the, side of the field. Everybody was covered, but Jeremy had the presence to become uncovered and available to accept that pass. First down, Cougs from their 45. Swung out to Terrence Williams. He comes to the edge and pushed out just to come back and turn his numbers to his quarterback. Of course, De'Ara King's a guy who played a lot of wide receiver here early in his Houston career. Top of the screen, man-to-man -man coverage again. Fires, and that was punched out right at the last moment. Seven to ten on third down today are the Cougars. Got his man open. Jeremy Singleton racing to the end zone and coming in late, a block by Rayla. All right, now ball back in the court of Houston. I think they thought they had a free play there. Somebody's.
the chance center that the knew center it. knew it and the yeah. rest of the guys did There you go. That makes more sense. Steve on the offensive line. Been good on third down today. Eight of 11. Man coverage. Who can win? King. Stevenson. What a catch. Huh? Down 14 to Tulsa. Came back and won all those games. We start the fourth quarter with a king pass for Stevenson. And he's Second and ten for the Cougars. This is where you got to watch for quarterback run here. And there it goes. There's King to the edge. He's going to have a first down. It appears where he steps in. This is the drive. They have to do it. 555 yards of offense, and they've held the ball for about 17 minutes. Stevenson. South big down for the Bulls. They have to find a way to get off the field. King fires and finds his target, Keith Corbin. King finds his tight end, Brooker. Only a couple types of speed on, on the tempo for the offense and tons of explosive plays. Smith in motion, flip it to him. He turns around, flips it back to King. And King hurdles the defender. Comes Sierra King. And what an imagination. This is direct snap to the quarterback. Looks like a reverse, then it goes option. That is a Cougar first down. And this offense running at a hectic pace once again. Here's a pass towards the end zone, hanging up. Deflected and completes. Wow, Cassidy. Kansas has not been a very good football team, but for whatever reason, TC has a lot of problems they with do. Kansas. Absolutely. 13th play of the drive. De'Ara King, a shot to the end zone. Single 10. Raylan Singleton has set in on the Bulls sideline. And this is just better execution offensively. You can't throw it any better. And you like the way Raylan Singleton. Second and eight for the Cougars, who came in averaging 49 points per game. Second in the nation. Only Alabama has averaged more points per game at 54. The Eric King flings it out of bounds. Perfectly. He's able to move around, find windows to throw the football. And he's so fast off the edge, boy, he can run it with, with anybody. Showing some of those moves there, but a nice open field for four quarters in really all three facets of the game. Under four minutes to go, and Houston with the 21-point lead. On the slant, Singleton, Raylon. The way they can play and the way they can defend, they could make it a four-quarter game. Well, they made it about a three-quarter game. I'm not so sure if anybody else on that schedule can do that. King keeps to the tight end, Brooker. Swung down.